Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I will teach you how to work out expected value of a probability distributions. Of course, there is a PDF file version on the description below for you to download so you can work with me. Otherwise, let's go straight into it. First one, the table below is showing a result of an experiment of rolling a die. Part A, calculate the relative frequency for each score. So to work out the relative frequency, so the frequency of the score over the total of frequency. So let's just work out the total of frequency first. So total is equal to, so we have 5 plus 5 is 10, and 3 plus 6 is 9, and 1 is 10, so 20, so 24. So the total of frequency is 24. Otherwise, we can just use calculator to work that out. So let me just list a different table. So part A. So this is X. So X is the score here. 1, 2, all the way to 6. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. To work out the relative frequency for each score. So we just use the frequency of the score over the total of frequency. So I can write relative. So I can write relative frequency here, or I can write probability of x equal x. Or easier, I can even write probability of x because relative frequency is just like probability. So in theory is probability, but in practice we call relative frequency. That's all. So the probability of getting one, so it come out five times, and then the probability will be 5 over 24. So 5 over 24. Now the probability of 2, the score 2, it come out 3 times. So therefore, 3 out of 24. Now the probability of score 3 is 5 times. So the 5 over 24. And the probability of score 4 is 6 out of 24. 6 out of 24. And the probability of score 5 is 1 because it's 5 come out once. Okay, so 1 over 24. And then the probability for score 6 is 4. So 4 out of 24. So this is probability distributions. So let me just draw out the table. So there you go. Now part B. So part B to work out the expected value. So expected value. And the notation for expected value is can be written like this. So expected value of X. So that will give me to work out the expected value. So we use the score and we times its probability. So that is 1 times 5 over 24. And then we add the score, which is 2, we times this. So 2 times its probability, that is 3 over 24. And we add 3, the score times its probability, so which is 3 times 5 over 24. And we go 4, the score times 6 over 24. We add 4 times 6 over 24. Then we add 5 times 1 over 24. And plus the score times the probability. So that is 6 times 4 over 24. So now I just put that on a calculator. So just go 1 times 5 over 24. And we add 2 times 3 over 24. We add 
3 times 5 over 24. Then we add 4 times 6 over 24. And then we add 5 times 1 over 24. Then we add 6 times 4 over 24. So there you go, 3.29, correct to two decimal places. So, so 3.29, correct to two decimal places. So there you go, this is expected value. So if you think about it, so this is the score and this is its probability. So that means we times together. And this is the score and its probability. So we time them up and we add, this is also the score and we times its probability. And score, we times its probability and score times its probability. This is the score and we times its probability. So therefore the expected value in so the expected value is equal to now the score times its probability and we add all of them together. So that is the sum of the score times its probability. So there you go. So the expected value is also known as mean. So mean is the average if you like. So this is mean. So therefore, we can also use calculator to work this out. So we so I just go set up. I press option two, that is statistic mode and one variable. So choose option one. So I press one. So there you go. So now I just need to enter the score in. So one to six. So one equal two equal three equal four equal five equal six equal. Then I just go across by press the arrow pointing to the right and then press the arrow down to bring me all the way up. So now just enter the probability. So five over 24 equal. And then we go three over 24 equal. And then we go five over 24 equal. And then we go six over 24 equal. Then we go one over 24 equal. And then four over 24. So there you go. So now we just need to find the mean, the average, okay? That will give us the expected value. So to, to do this, first of all, I clear the screen first, press the AC button and we press shift and then press one. And then now we need to choose option four. So I press four and to look for the mean, that is option two. So press two, equal. So there you go. The expected value is 3.29. Please pause the video and try this one yourself. Hi there, I'm back. How do you go? So let me go through it with you, okay? Before I do that, please do not forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe if you haven't done so, so you can help me to grow my channel. So let's get into this. So to work out the expected value, so we know that the expected value is equal to the sum or the total of the score times its probability. So this means that we have one is the score and times its probability. So we got one times 0. 0.25. And then we have two times its probability, which is two times 0. 0.1. And we have three, we times 0. 0.28. So three times 0. 0.28. And we add four times 0. 0.1. So four times 0. 0.1. And we have five and we times 0 0.12. So five times 0 0.12. Then we have six, we times this. So we add six times 0 0.15. So 
So that will give me, I just put that on the calculator. So I just go one times 0.25 and we add two times 0 0.1 and we add three times 0 0.28. So add three times 0 0.28 and then we add four times 0 0.1. Add four times 0 0.1 and we add five times 0 0.12 plus five times 0 0.12. We add six times 0 0.15. So there you go, 3.19. So there you go. So let's just use calculator to uh, check see if we got it correct. So first of all, I need to go to statistic mode first. So you go set up. And then we press option two because I want to go to stat mode. And then we go option one because only one variable. So press one. But then my frequency is not on. So I need to turn on the frequency. Now, if your calculator has frequency on, that'd be fantastic. Otherwise, please look at the screen. I show you how to turn on the frequency. So to do this, I just go shift, set up, and then I go press the arrow down. And then we choose option three, and then we want to turn on the frequency. So we press one. So there you go. So now what I do, I just enter the score. So that is X, the value of X is score one to six. So press one equal two equal three equal four equal five equal six equal. And I press the arrow across. It bring me to the other column and I press arrow down and bring me all the way up, okay? So now I just enter the frequency, that is the probability. So 0 0.25 equal, 0 0.1 equal, and 0 0.28 equal, and 0 0.1 equal, 0 0.12 equal, and 0 0.15 equal. So there you go. So now I need to clear the screen first. So press AC button, and then to get the information, I press shift one. So now I'm looking for the average. That will give us the expected value, the mean, if you like. So press four, and then option two, equal. So there you go, 3.19. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope you got it correct. Bye.